So are you wondering how on earth you're meant to clean these paper flowers? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Hi, I'm Michelle from Talmutshi Paper Blooms. Today I wanted to quickly run through with you how to clean your paper flowers. Actually, very straightforward, but a lot of people panic because they're not sure what to do for the best. Keeping your paper flowers clean and dust free is only real care you'll need to do to make them last for years. It's actually so straightforward that it's probably not even worth making a video about. But I'm going to run through three quick tips with you just so you know how to make the most of your paper flowers and keep them looking fresh for years to come. They're really straightforward, so let's get into it. The first tip is so straightforward, it's probably not even worth me mentioning, but I'm going to anyway. All you have to do is turn it upside down. Turn your flowers upside down, give them a little bit of a ruffle, particularly if there's any like centres like this which are quite fluffy, you just get in there with your fingers obviously make sure your hands are clean and just ruffle the pestles a little bit and that'll just remove any loose dust. That will be the most care that you probably need to do to be honest because generally that will get rid of the most of the dust. If you do this every once in a while that's probably all you'll need to do. If you leave it a little bit longer and the dust seems to settle a little bit more <laughs> then don't worry there are other things we can do. The second thing you can do is to take a microfiber cloth so that's one of the ones like this that attracts the dust just a regular lint free cleaning cloth. These are the ones that grab the dust as you clean. So you can just take that and gently dust the petals. And that again is gonna get rid of most of the stuff and it's gonna be really good particularly for the outsides of your flower. Obviously you're gonna to struggle to get into the center of the flower with this, but between this and the other two techniques you should get everything. This is also really good for leaves or any curved petals like this that obviously have got a bit of a shelf where dust can gather so you can get in there and make sure you give that a good wipe clean. One thing I will say at this stage, make sure your cloth is dry. Don't use a damp cloth, obviously remember this is paper, we don't want to be getting it wet or even damp. If there's some really stubborn dust on there and you've tried all three techniques and that still doesn't work, you can use a very very tiny amount of water on this cloth and try it again but please only do that as a last resort because that will start to make your petals dishape and you'll have to go back in and rework those to get the right shapes. And the last step is to use your trusty vacuum cleaner. So other brands are available, I'm using my Dyson handheld. What you want to do with this is make sure it's on the lowest setting. So mine has a high and a max setting, so mine's going on to the high. If you can go to lower then do so. And then make sure you've got a soft nozzle on the end. So I've got this, um, I don't even know what you call it, but like a bristled cleaning brush. And then you can go in gently and start to, to vacuum around. Um, so I'll just show you what I do with this one. And it's that straightforward. <laughs> if you're really struggling, particularly in the centre, you could try the higher setting, but I would say go with the lower setting first of all and see how you get on. Because to be honest, I've never had to do any more than those three options to get any of the dust off my flowers. Some of the flowers I've got have been on display in my home for years, and they still don't get that dirty. Any dust that does appear on them, I just use these techniques, clear as much dust off as possible, and to be honest, that's all you need to do. So those three steps should hopefully help to keep your flowers clean and looking fresh. Obviously, if you know the kids pick them up with dirty handprints, <laughs> that's something you're probably not going to be able to clean off because at the end of the day it's dirty fingerprints on paper and you wouldn't normally be able to get that off anyway. But generally, most dust and sort of day to day wear and tear, you can just clean off with these methods. If you do get stains or dirty marks that you can't remove, then I will have a new video coming very soon showing you how to repair damaged flowers. So with that you could actually remove the stained petal and repair it and add a replacement one just to cover up any of the mess. So look out for that coming very soon. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you get a notification when that does go live. And if you could hit the thumbs up button below and like this video, I would really appreciate it because it helps me out so much. So go ahead, do that right now, hit like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if there are any tips in particular or any particular tutorials you want me to make next and I'd love to help out. And hopefully I'll see you back here very soon for another tutorial and some more flower care tips. Tell Muchly for being here to celebrate life's special moments with me.